Hi guys, welcome to Born to Win. I'm glad that you guys are back for another video. Uh, today's topic is going to be a little bit of a topic that um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Uh, a lot of people uh, have personally DM'd me on my Instagram and have told me, Hey Luis, how did you get over failure? How did you keep going when all you were saying is setback after setback after setback? And how did you stay motivated throughout that journey? And what are some steps that I could implement to deal with failure and being able to get over that hump? Well, you guys came to the right channel. I'm glad that you guys are back for another video. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Luis Jimenez. I made this uh, YouTube channel to help out people to shorten out their entrepreneurial journey to getting to the top. Okay, so if this helps you in any way, click that like button, share, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and let's get straight into this video. We're not gonna be that bullshit channel that just talks about fluff and literally doesn't give you any actionable steps that you guys could take today, not tomorrow, today to actually get better. So let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, let's get right into it. So the first actionable step that I'm gonna give you guys today is gonna be understanding that you are in control, okay? So that's the number one reason, uh, the number one thing that I want you guys to take away when you guys are going through your guys' journey and understand that probably if you're in the sales industry, you're probably watching this video right now. If you're an entrepreneur, just in general, we have to sell stuff, right? And we're gonna encounter fail failures, we're gonna encounter no's. A lot of people are gonna tell us no, but it doesn't matter how many people tell us no, it matters at the end of the day what we produce and what we were able to accomplish with our day. Understand that everything that we do, it doesn't matter. If someone tells you no, we can't control that. We just can control what we can do and do the best of our ability. So as long as you're giving it your all and giving it based off of the best of your ability and training every single day, we can't, even the best closers in the world get told no. But the difference is that they keep going, they have the same attitude, and they understand that they're in control. How are they in control? They're in control of probably not the yes or the no. Um, they probably try to influence it with their sales tax, uh, sell tactics and try to get it down to the minimal like percentage of a no. Obviously, you want to be closing at a certain percentage if you want to make big money. But you have to understand that there's still variables and they still simply might not want your product, right? And they might not be the correct time. Doesn't mean that they might not be a customer later down the line. Just means that they're saying no to you right now. It's nothing against you, so don't get mad, don't get frustrated, don't get down on yourself. Understand that you're in control of the situation. How are you in control? If someone tells me no, I could just go, hey, all right, great. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to service you. If anything, um, here's my phone. Here's my phone number. Here's my card. Once you're ready, I'm, uh, once you're ready, uh, give me a call, and I'm glad. I'll be I'll be glad to earn your business, whatever the case may be. Right. So simple simple thing that you could do. And on top of that, once you leave that door, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go service someone else that really needs my product right now. That's all the mentality that you guys need to have. So that's step number one. Okay. So. Step number two is gonna be understand everything is temporary, okay guys? So understand that everything is temporary, that is number two. So what do I mean by that? So understand that everything is not permanent, guys. That's all it means. So there's gonna be temporary things that are gonna be happening in your life and you just have to know how to roll with the punches. So just because you're failing right now doesn't mean you're gonna be failing in a year or two. You might be early in the process, don't judge yourself too early as well. That's another thing too. Don't judge yourself too early. The reason being is because you guys probably, like for example, I've been doing YouTube on this channel probably for what? Like two weeks, three weeks, whatever the case may be. But I'm not gonna judge myself and say, hey, you know what, I suck at YouTube or I shouldn't be doing this and uh, whatever the case may be. It's not long enough of a time frame. It's not a long enough of a test for me to know if I'm gonna see a result. So. So sometimes you guys are just beating your guys itself up and the mind likes to play tricks on you guys to say oh I've been working at it for so long but if you actually keep track out of it you've probably been at it for like two weeks to a month even six months is early okay guys so understand that nothing is permanent everything is temporary even our success when we're at the top it's gonna be temporary too you're gonna have low valleys as well but understand that just because you have low valleys, my low valley might 
be making $2,000 a week. Your low valley might be $200 a week, whatever the case may be. But uh, understand there's peaks and valleys and you have to uh, understand nothing's permanent. So uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Even if it's failure, enjoy it because you're learning. And, and, and it actually gets boring if you just keep winning and winning and winning. You would be, you would be surprised. So it's always good to face those challenges and know how to get over them, okay? So step number three is going to be no such thing as failure. You either win or you learn, okay guys? So no such thing as failure, you either win or you learn. So what do I mean by that? Just self-explanatory, just like I said. So if you guys go into an experience where you guys fail, where you guys go into a cell, go into a meeting, go into whatever you guys are doing, okay? It doesn't have to be in specific just to sales. It could be in any type of business. You're gonna have to get told no sometimes. Some stuff, it's, it's all perspective, okay? So understand that failure is perspective. We either win or we learn. We either get better or we're dying, okay? You're either growing or you're dying. That's what Grant Cardone, one of my greatest mentors, actually says okay so you're either growing or you're dying there's no in between so um you have to understand every failure is a learning lesson and don't take failure too personal to the heart but understand what you can extract and get better off of and keep moving forward okay and the last step that i want to go over with you guys is going to be celebrate your guys's win and celebrate your guys's losses like your guys's wins okay so that's the last step that i want to go over with you guys and i've actually learned this topic or learned this lesson from Manny Koshman. Manny Koshman is a really uh, rich, wealthy, I, uh, I wouldn't even call him rich, he's wealthy. He's wealthy entrepreneur that does real estate and I actually heard this in one of uh, his interviews. He literally, um, he got asked the question is, uh, what was like the worst shortcoming that you had in your entrepreneur career? And he ended up answering, well, I lost like a hundred or I lost like some ridiculous amount of money in a real estate deal right and they asked him so how did you come back from that what was the first thing that you did when you lost that money right and he looked back at him and he said i lit a cigar and i relaxed and, I was, and, and the guy was like like what the hell how can you just like be normal how can you just be in control and that goes into step number one this is step number one and step number four are like literally in the same ballpark if you think about it so what did he do right there he ended up uh, understanding that losing is part of winning you know you have to lose you have to understand that it's a process and that you're not gonna get butt hurt when you lose but obviously you're not going in there with the intention to lose we're not fucking losers you're unborn to win you're you're in the channel that you're gonna grow you're gonna get better I'm gonna push you every single day and you're gonna get, just be a boss we don't take no for an answer we try to go uh we try to do the best that we can do possibly every single day but that doesn't mean that we're not going to lose that doesn't mean that we're not going in there with the intention to lose but that doesn't mean we're not going to have failures that means that we're that doesn't mean that we're not going to have hiccups along the journey all it means is all manny was trying to tell you guys based off of this advice that i'm giving you guys at the end is just simple one thing don't take it too personal to the heart understand that it's gonna happen and don't get it don't don't take it too personal understand that it's part of the journey and just because you're losing or you lost today or you had a bad day doesn't mean that you should be miserable with your life okay understand that everything is part of the process guys so I hope this video gave you guys a little bit more perspective on how to deal with failure so go follow me on my Instagram as well if you guys want more behind the scenes of content of my lifestyle and what I actually do in my day-to-day -day, I'm posting there pretty consistently okay guys so you guys could go watch my like my pictures like my photos and watch my stories okay i'm more active on there and you guys will get two videos on, on youtube like you guys usually do okay guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said like comment share and subscribe and remember one thing guys you guys were born to win okay you guys make the extraordinary look ordinary until next time guys i love you guys peace